Next into the den, it's 25-year-old Evie Waxman from Manchester, whose pitch combines what she believes are her two greatest assets, her product and herself. I'm quite a stand-up person. I'll say I'm more of an extrovert than an introvert, you know, without blowing my own trumpet too much. Like, I have got the personality. You know, I'm very driven. Adding a personality on top of a very good product is obviously like a win-win situation. Hello, beautiful. Was it chocolate? Is it chocolate? Looks it. And this millennial knows exactly how she wants to market her product. I'm at that age where, you know, obviously social media is massive. This rise of sort of social media influencers. So, you know, getting in the mix of that, being the face of the brand, being a sort of like a health icon is sort of where we want to get to. Could do with a nice snack. Looks like it might be dried fruit. Dates. Mmm. Looks like something. Hello, dragons. My name is Evie Waxman, founder of Raw Bake Station. We are an all raw and vegan snack bar company specialising in sweet treats. Today I'm here to ask for £50,000 worth of investment for 10% of my company. I founded Raw Bake Station three years ago, starting in my mum's kitchen to her enjoyment, selling unbranded and unpackaged goodies to local juice bars and on market stores. We are now selling across the UK using two national wholesalers and we are listed in a number of boutique supermarkets such as Planet Organic and As Nature Intended. On top of all of this, we are also in active conversation with WH Smith, Boots and The Co-op. All of our products are free from gluten, dairy, wheat and refined sugar. But most importantly, they're free from chemicals, preservatives and additives, making them your perfect guilt-free treat. Thank you all for listening to me today. I'm sure you've got plenty of questions and I've got plenty of goodies, so let's give them a try. <laughs> Raw, vegan sweet treats are the order of the day from Evie Waxman. Thank you. Thank you. Who's offering up a 10% stake in her company in exchange for £50,000. Lots of goodies there. Lots of goodies. Health magnate Tej Lalvani is the first dragon to get a flavour of the business. Evie, I'm quite impressed with what you've done. Thank you. You know, you come across really well, great presentation, and, you know, putting the right ingredients in there, you know, without all the artificial colourings and preservatives. Can you tell me a bit about the raw bake arena? OK, so obviously, first of all, nothing's baked, hence the raw thing. For instance, with our brownies, we mix, blend, press and set, and then cut, so there's no cooking um, process. How big is a raw food market at the moment in terms of desserts? Um. <sighs> I mean, it's. I think from seeing how many brands are, are emerging at the moment, I think you can see, tell that it's a growing market. Um, but, like, I don't have any actual stats. Right. And have you spoken to some of the large supermarket chains? I've been speaking with Waitrose. Um, I've been speaking with Sainsbury's. What has been the result of the conversation with Waitrose, for instance? They picked up on the calories of these products and said that it wasn't something that they would want to put in their fridges at the moment. I do eat a lot of treats. And actually, I could have sat and eaten them all. Thank you. But then I turned over and saw how many calories and I had an absolute fit and stopped eating them. Yeah. This range is more of an indulgent range. Um, you know, Telling it was never me. meant to be a health range. It was just healthy in the respect that it was free from chemicals, preservatives and additives, which is why we went in with the raw aspect of stuff. But on new products, the cookies that you've got, their calories are going to be lower. They're going to be on average 175 per pack. So we have worked on that as we've sort of grown. Right. And I think that's something you'll have to keep working on. The entrepreneur bats away Sarah Davies' calorific concerns by displaying a willingness to adapt her products. Now, retail giant Tuka Suleiman wants to go back to where it all began. <laughs> Where was your break? Um, the first account, I took the products down to London and basically faked that I had these meetings with these buyers. I know that trick. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, walked into Planet Organic, I knew the buyer's name, so I got to pitch my stuff to him. Good. He loved it, and that's how we got Great. our first account with Planet Organic. So you've got a bit of guts in you? Oh, I've got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, yeah. The last 12 months of trading, how much have you sold? 
We made 33,000 last year. So, if you had to predict for the next 12 months, yeah. what do you think your turnover would be? Um, it's quite a jump back, 340,000. Whoa. That being said, I can back myself up. Um, we've got a meal prep service in Manchester, which are going to take us on. So that would give us a 240k for just that one account. How much cash you got in the bank? 8,000. So how's the cash flow going to work? Well, with the meal prep service, they're going to pay on a 30-day turnaround. But even 30 days, you've got to give them credit. You're paying cash for the product. We make all of this ourselves. Yeah, but you've got to buy the ingredients. You've got to pay the staff. My philosophy in the den is that cash is king. And the way you've projected this, I think you're going to need a lot more money. To Kasuliman, fears that Evie may have bitten off more than she can chew when it comes to orders she can take on. Peter Jones has been unusually quiet, but is ready to give his verdict on Evie's products. Evie. Hi. Hi. When I first saw it and I saw the packaging, I thought it was I thought it was really interesting. The salty caramel is really nice. Yeah. But I'm being really brutal. I don't like any of the others. Really? No. If the taste of the product just doesn't have it, then I don't think this has a chance. And that's why I'm not surprised you've only hit after two or three years. 30k worth of sales. I don't want to sit here and spend a lot of time on it because I just think that I'll do it a disservice. So I'm going to say sorry, but I'm out. Peter Jones deems Evie's product range an investment proposition not to his palate and becomes the first dragon out. Will Deborah Meaden share her rival investors' take on the treats? I completely disagree with Peter. I think they taste absolutely delicious. There's a but. Okay. There are a lot of people rushing to this market because it buys right into the vegan trend. Yeah. Why are you going to win that race? Well, first of all, we're different. our products are slightly different because most of the bars out there at the moment are a fruit and nut bar. All of our bars differ in taste, appearance and texture. The second thing is, is that I am the face of the brand and you can't copy, obviously, myself. And being the face of the brand, just like Livia's Kitchen or Deliciana, no one can take that away from them. But fudge brownie, I think of it as a cake. So you're not really a bar. The shelf life on this must be quite short. Yeah, so it's got a six to ten week shelf life. OK, has that been a barrier? Yes. And what about your new product then? They've got a 12-month shelf life. Oh, right, so I could completely see why you've moved towards that product. These are always going to be a bit of a specialist. You know, they need to be chilled. They've got a very short shelf life. But this is really interesting. I tell you what, they are very good in terms of crunch, because it's very hard to get crunch on a raw bake. Who else is making a similar style product? There isn't anyone actually currently making cookies. That's why I saw a gap in the market for raw and vegan cookies. Evie's claims that her titbits have a distinctive USP has gone down well with Deborah Meaden. Now, Sarah Davies wants to know more about the company's potential to scale. So what is it costing you a month to run your business at the moment? Um, it's probably just under a grand. And are you the only staff member at the moment? No, I've got someone else, and then I've got, just got, like, an intern as well. Right. So does it not worry that you that if you do get one of these supermarkets on board, you know, you aren't with a manufacturing partner who can just scale quickly, you've literally got to somehow make that work? Um, if we were, obviously, to get a larger order with this current range, you know, you've just got to fake it till you make it and hire some more people. Well, look, I, I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with your tenacity, your drive. One little thing I just would say, my company is built around me as a brand as well. But I was really careful not to let that ever go to my head and just really watch that. OK. You've got to have great product that you then stand behind with a great brand. You being great, passionate, having all this drive. Yeah. 
the customer doesn't see that when they see it on the shelf. And I do think you've got a really long journey ahead of you. So unfortunately, it's a no from me and I'm out today. Evie, I'll tell you what I stand. I think you're great. Thank you. I think you've got so much enthusiasm, but my biggest concern is what I brought up. You've got this projection of £300,000 for next year. I don't believe that you will have sufficient working capital to fund it. You'll need money really quickly. And again and again. I wish you all the best, but I'm out. Two dragons opt out in quick succession, unconvinced about Evie's optimistic projections. Will Tej Lalvani be more inclined to add these vegan nibbles to his health portfolio? I think you're really good. And, um, you know, I think you're going to make it. But I'd have liked to hear better feedback from the supermarkets. Sorry to interrupt. But Boots were really interested in this range. They said they've got nothing like this at the moment. But I do like this, and I can see where you're going with the product. You're trying to build a brand at this stage and an image. But I think you need to have one product that people really love and, uh, and, and it can really go and it's got legs. Maybe you're going to get there very soon. Yeah. I hope you do. But not for me, I'm out. Good luck. Despite Evie's spirited fight back, she's now four dragons down. Her cookies hit a sweet spot with Deborah Meaden. Will she find an investment as palatable? So, Evie, I think you're cracking. Thank you. This is really hard because you've come in fully formed on this and you're really... I know, not fully formed on the thing that actually I think is probably the most interesting thing you've got. I agree with you, you know, I, that is our winning product, I think. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the packaging or anything ready for today's date, but they look really fantastic. I'm sure they do, Evie, but it's a bit difficult for me to make an investment decision based on something that is so unformed. I mean, literally, I'm looking at two little buttons in a package and how do I judge a business on that? I haven't even got the look of the brand. Unfortunately, your presentation here today hasn't given me an insight into what an investment could do. Good luck, but I'm out. All right, thank you very much. Good luck, Thank, thank, you. Good luck. thank you. Unable to secure an investment in her snacks, it's time for Evie to make tracks. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I should have brought some branding in for the new products. You know, that's something sort of like to highlight potentially for next time. Oh, that's awful. I really like it. Yeah, I was really shocked that Peter had said that. Just because we've had really good feedback. Any entrepreneur that says fake it till you make it, I, don't, I didn't know what to believe. No, but I liked the fact. Like she hustled, she got into the door. She I mean, got into the door, she got into Planet Organic. Obviously, naturally feeling a bit disappointed, but no, I feel really positive walking away. I think it was a pleasant experience with really positive comments. So.